Hi there! Welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. Take a look at some things that I found in the lab. There's a ball, a rubber ducky, a plastic crate and a toy lion. Where's the ball? The ball is next to the plastic crate. What about the rubber ducky? The rubber ducky is on top of the crate. When we talk about where something is, we talk about its position. Now it's your turn to have a try. Where is the lion? Yes, you got it. The lion is in front of the crate. Are you ready for another one? Where is the lion now? Right again, the lion is behind the crate. It looks like the rubber ducky wants to hide. Where is the rubber ducky now? That's right, she's underneath this crate. Let's describe the position of things in this bedroom. Where are the coloured pencils? The coloured pencils are on the desk. Can you describe their position in any other ways? Where is the clock? Hmm, the clock is next to the plant. The clock is also above the desk lamp. Can you think of more ways to describe the position of the clock? Choose an object you can see in the bedroom and describe its position with a friend. When the position of an object changes over time, we say the object is in motion. Let's do some examples with our ball. The ball is in motion. It's moving from side to side. What about now? The ball is moving up and down. It's also in motion. If I move the ball like this, it spins round and round. It's also in motion. We can use words like slowly and quickly to describe an object's motion too. If I give the ball a gentle tap, it moves slowly across the table. If I give the ball a hard push, it rolls quickly. Let's describe the motion of objects in this video. The carousel is moving round and round. The girl on the swing is moving back and forth. The children on the seesaw are moving up and down. The blades of the windmill are moving round and round. That was fun, but speaking of motion, I've got to fly. See you next time in the Lighthouse Lab.